Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and in this video, we're going to be going over the Spider Tournament going on right now. As you can see, they're using only champions from specific factions. It is just going to be the Talarians, which is the top row of the champion index. So we will go over the best team that I was able to put together on my account for the Bannerlords, High Elves, Sacred Order, and Barbarians. And then also we'll talk about a more budget option that doesn't include legendaries. And then we'll dive through uh, each one of the factions really quick and talk about some of the best champions to watch out for in an event like this. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, just a couple things to uh, to talk about, to get out of the way first, to give you some context on this. Uh, the Spider Tournament is also going to be coinciding here in a little bit with a Dungeon Divers event. So if you're going to be going super hard in the Spider Tournament, you may want to wait until this countdown in your game says that the Dungeon Divers event is live. That way, if you're doing a bunch of runs, you can at least double dip your points and get some progress in a tournament and an event at the same time. And also, if you watch my content, you have seen this chart before, but just really quickly, I want to rehash and drive this point home. Uh, if your goal is to win an event, you don't have to feel pressured to do level 24 or 25, even though they are technically the most optimal, as you can see on here, uh, for gear uh, per energy refill. But per energy refill, you actually get more tournament and event points by doing level 20 compared to level 24 or 25. Uh, and doing level 20, it's a lot easier to make those enemy max HP champions good, which in this event, there is two of them. There's Royal Guard and Septimus that are both part of the Telerian faction subset. So uh, you could definitely use like a double Royal Guard type setup or use your Septimus to do way more damage with those enemy max HP attacks by doing level 20. And you are going to be getting even better event and tournament points by doing level 20. Your gear just won't be quite as good uh, in terms of your average energy refill, but totally viable to do level 20. Don't feel forced uh, to do those tougher stages. So first of all, I will show you the team that I am going to be using that works the best for my account. And then we'll dive into the more budget options and going over some of the champions in general that may uh, be the best for you to go ahead and watch out for. So first of all, the thought process behind this team is we've got Lysandra here. She is an amazing spider champion. Uh, she's got the speed aura of an, an amazing 24% in all battles. She's going to help suppress the turn meter of the spider. She's also going to increase the speed and the turn meter of my team. So just an insane useful champion here filling many roles that we need uh, in terms of speed manipulation for both sides of the battlefield stagnite has an amazing a1 for the spider he's going to decrease the speed of the spider so now we get the speed boost from the sandra and we're going to decrease the spider's speed with stagnate so we get both sides of speed manipulation to help me crank out a lot of turns and hopefully be able to burn down the spider before it even gets a chance to soak up the spiderlings and attack my team and take a turn then morta makai uh out I always mix up uh, his name because I, I, like my brain wants to say Morta Macab, and then I also want to say Mordecai. So I end up uh, combining them and saying Morta Macab, uh, Morta Macai instead of Mordecai. Uh, so anyway, uh, if I make that mistake, I apologize. But but Mordecai is an amazing champion for this because of the HP burn that he is going to be placing super reliably when you get it booked. A 100% three turn cooldown uh, of an HP burn on all those spiderlings, which is a super viable strategy. Once you get past stage 20, HP burn is kind of the meta route to go uh, when you're trying to burn down the spider super fast. And then, obviously, we've got the double Septimus uh, bringing in the rear here. Uh, now, uh, even though the enemy max HP abilities do not hit near as hard, I'd be able to do this run a lot faster if that wasn't nerfed. Uh, but I did test out a bunch of different things, uh, and, and it was just the fastest, most consistent time for me to still put in the two uh, Septimus here as my DPSers to just run in and do their big hard-hitting ability to coincide with the utility I'm getting from Lysandra, Stagnite, and Mordecai. Uh, now, you can obviously substitute the, uh, those spots for support, damage, uh, anything you need to kind of work around. The, uh, probably the bulk of the utility of my team is those first three, Lysandra, Stagnite, and Mordecai are kind of filling the roles in terms of speed manipulation. Uh, Stagnite also is my defense break, and he also attack breaks, so he makes it a lot easier to sustain those spiders. Stagnite is one of the best epics in the game for the spider, for sure. And then same as uh, Mordecai, uh, going to be doing the really reliable H uh, AOE HP burn. So that's kind of the, the core of the team. And then the last two spots I could kind of fill in which whatever makes it uh, the most consistent and the fastest so let's go ahead and fire up a run and you can see what this looks like I can actually go ahead and pop up um, the, the the stats down here on the bottom right uh, in case you were curious on looking at that and then I can adjust this 
so you can actually kind of see them a little bit better but um yeah so you can see uh you can see it in action we've got the, the the defense down on the spider and we've also got the speed down and then all those spider wings have decreased attack uh doing level 24 is going to be the route that i go i think it's the best in terms of being a good blend of gear and points uh, uh towards the tourney uh and also when it's spirit affinity i know that they're going to be trying to attack my mordecai and i can keep my double septi alive a little bit longer to make sure they get off that second uh big nuking attack when they run in and do damage with the enemy max hp you can see there septi ran in and did one of his uh and then there is the other one and my mordecai uh right here has fallen because he was getting targeted by all the spiderlings but that is okay if we have champions going down because we've got all those hp burns pop it off and eventually they are going to burn down i'm going to complete the spider this was actually a little bit uh towards the bad side of the rng uh in, in terms of being over a minute typically i saw this run going somewhere between 45 seconds and a minute 05 uh it's, it's somewhere in there uh and i do kind of lose champions on the way but it is definitely consistent if i wanted to make it a little bit better uh i would have to try to get mordecai a little bit more defense a little bit more hp uh but he does not have the best base stats for uh for going over his tough uh, it can be a little bit hard to scale that up. You're going to need really good gear to do so. But um, yeah, you, you can also build a slower team. It doesn't have to be a one minute run. You can it can be a two, three minute run, totally okay. Uh, and just kind of go ahead and let it farm. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be an event where you've got people getting like ten thousand points or anything. Uh, so yeah, don't feel bad if your team is a little bit slower uh, than a one minute nuking spider team. Okay, and then if you don't have uh, all of those champions, let's talk about the budget option here. We've got. Duchess as the speed aura and the support bad L to help us hit harder and be able to heal to the champions and then we've got our two void Legos Sir Nick for the shields and Venus for the HP burn and the defense down and the weaken and then as long as we're using one rare champion we can call it a free-to-play friendly budget friendly type team okay I'm joking this is a this is a troll uh this team would actually be okay but uh but it's just kind of a joke I like to throw out there as long as you're using one rare you can call it free-to-play friendly but anyway I'll show you the actual uh more budget team now Okay, and here is the actual uh, more budget-friendly team I would put together. Um, Apothecary, obviously one of the best rares in the game. We're going to be using him for the clutch heals. And the increase to speed and turn meter for our team. Stagnite is going to be lowering attack. Uh, using the A1, we already talked about him to lower the speed uh, and also breaking defense. Armager, uh, probably the best uncommon in the game. He's got both enemy max HP, which is super good if we bump it down to level 20 for our budget team. He's also got Terminator Suppression and Mordecai uh, bringing the HP burns because we don't have a lot of damage like a Royal Guard popping off on those Spiderlings or anything. And then we've got Sill. If you don't have Sill, you would go with anybody as a good support to help enable the team. The nice thing about Sill as a login champion is she's very sturdy. She does heals every turn and she can revive if you happen uh, to to have somebody fall over and uh and die during the run so should be uh should be fine here to uh to crank out enough damage here we got the apothecary boosting everything we're gonna get uh the defense breaks from the stagnite we're gonna get some stuns from sill which is super handy we're gonna lower the speed of the uh of the of the spider and we're also uh we, we've got uh i could pop up the stats here again let me pop this up so you can see how these champions are built and then i can zoom out a little bit on this so you can see the majority of the run there and uh, shouldn't be too bad of a time with this uh, with this more budget team. Uh, and nothing wrong with doing level 20 as well. So this team would be just as viable in terms of trying to do well in the tournament as my main team uh, with all the like double Septimus and crazy stuff going on. And here we go. Now we're getting close to the end of the run. And obviously you could do you could do things like. Uh, you could do things like a double Royal Guard or something because Royal Guard is a high elf. Uh, I didn't want to do that for a budget friendly because I don't know how many people are going to have double Royal Guard built, fully mastered, and ready to rock. Uh, but this would be an example of, of a team that, I, and I can put this away if you want to see these stats. Mordecai cranking out crazy damage with those HP burns. And Armager uh, doing really well. Sill actually holds her own, uh, but it's not damage to the spider. She's getting credit for all the spiderlings that she is hitting with her AoE. But this would be another perfectly viable option uh, to run if you don't have like the double Septimus and the stuff that I was using, Lysandra and all of that. So now that we've gone over some of the teams, let's go ahead and just dive into the factions really quickly and touch on some of the champions that stand out for an event like this uh, for the Telerian Spider Grinding. Um, so Banner Lords, don't sleep on Sigmund and Heliore. They were events in the past uh, for either a fusion or a summoning event based around sacreds they can both be really good uh shielders for your team you've got sigmund placing the shield you've got helior i uh, got an ability right here the aoe shield on all allies is going to function similar 
to like Miscreated Monster and Sir Nicholas, where you hit all the spider wings and place a ton of shield on your team. You've also got a, uh, a couple different options for affinities to get the spider to attack them, so you can keep your more squishy champions alive. And then under the epics, obviously, you're going to have Stagnite is going to be S tier. You'll probably want to try to use him in any team you're putting together. Archmage, a really good epic as well. Uh, for rares, not going to be really anything that stands out. Uh, in this, you do get an AoE defense break from Dagger here on the A2 as a void rare. Then under the high elves, we actually got a lot of good options. Uh, Lysandra, obviously amazing if you have her. Arbiter could be good uh, as, a, as a support that's boosting turn meter and reviving if you get in trouble. Shiramani, you'll see some people try the HP burn and freeze combos. So Shiramani can do the freeze part of that. Royal Guard, obviously going to do amazing all the way up to level 20. Uh, and then after that, his enemy max HP abilities will fall off. But he'll still be pretty decent if you want to use him up in those higher levels. And then Tayrell has a lot of utility as well uh, by doing some turn meter uh, suppression and also AoE attacks that break defense. So uh, And then even down in the rares, you've got Apothecary and Relicary Tender could be very good supports in a run like this. Apothecary boosting speed, Relicary cleansing some of those poisons, healing, and doing some revive. And then for the Sacred Order, um, so what's standing out to me is Sir Nick, obviously. If you have him, he is an amazing shielder, similar to Miscreated Monster and that type of stuff, hitting on the Spiderlings, placing tons of shield. Uh, you can't really see, but Venus right there is great because she's got defense down, weaken, and HP burn. Going to be awesome. Under the Epics, Mordecai for the HP burn if you are going that route. And uh, Deacon can be a pretty solid support. Um, and don't forget that way down here in the uncommons if i move out of the way boom armager is going to be a great addition we already talked about him a little bit but do not forget about him in the sacred order for rares there really isn't a whole lot of rares that jump out to me here in the sacred order for this event and then uh, lastly we've got the barbarians uh sill as a login champion obviously amazing valkyrie can be a shielder as well uh, that will also place counterattacks. she'll make your runs very slow if you're counterattacking every time the spiderlings hit you uh but she can provide a lot of toughness with the massive shields uh to a neric is, is going to be great uh kind of like a legendary doom priest so lots of cleansing of those poisons and healing and also increases your speed and defense as well um under the epics not a whole lot. I mean, High Katoon can function uh, uh, with a similar role, uh, kind of like Apothecary or something. Uh, and then for the rares, a Marked is a decent rare, but not really for this event. Uh, War Maiden can be an AoE defense break, similar to how we mentioned Dagger. But yeah, uh, other than that, really not a whole lot to go over. So all alrighty, if you're going to be participating in this event, good luck putting your uh, team together. And I do wish uh, they would make these events a little bit more lucrative because uh, you really have to kind of brainstorm and and move gear around and develop different champions and maybe spend books get mastery so i do wish they would make them um, a little bit more fun to participate in and a little bit more lucrative for the player base to go after but let me know what you think down below did i forget any champions that are really good for this event am i overvaluing anybody is there anything you would change about one of the teams i mentioned what are you going to be using what do you think about these events always enjoy to hear your input as well so that is going to do it for me on this one don't forget to subscribe down below because i am going to be cranking out a lot of content to help you on whatever's going on in raid whether it's events or new updates and all of that type of stuff going on so as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace